The leader of ISIS is dead following a U.S. Special Forces raid in Syria. Thank you for joining us for the nightly check-in. I'm Catherine Garcia. The Pentagon says Abu Ibrahim al-Hashimi al-Qurashi blew himself up. His wife and two children also died in the blast overnight Wednesday into Thursday. There are reports of other deaths during the operation as well. U.S. forces reportedly evacuated 10 people from that building. This all happened in northern Syria near the Turkish border. President Biden said the goal was to avoid civilian deaths. We made a choice to pursue a special forces raid at a much greater risk than our, to our own people rather than targeting him with an airstrike. We made this choice to minimize civilian casualties. There were no U.S. casualties in this raid, though a U.S. military chopper had a maintenance issue during the operation and was blown up. President Biden said al Qurashi was behind attacks targeting Americans and atrocities against civilians from the Middle East to South Asia. He was named the ISIS leader in 2019. Now to our coronavirus headlines. The good news is that COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations continue declining, but the county has reported more than 100 COVID-19 deaths just within the past week. San Diego County is reporting an additional 113 deaths in the past week to be specific. So far this year, county data shows COVID it has claimed the lives of 225 San Diegans. Dr. William Singh, the assistant medical director of Kaiser Permanente San Diego, explains how there is a lag in case rate and the hospital and death rate. He also says new data confirms the best way to avoid serious illness and death is to be vaccinated. To me, this is the most impressive data. If you've been boosted, okay, if you've been vaccinated and boosted and you're 50 um, 50 to 64 years old, you're 46 times more likely to be in the hospital if you don't get your vaccine compared to someone who's been vaccinated and boosted. The county is also saying we may be seeing a drop in case counts because people are testing at home now that those at-home kits are more available. Our 2022 Winter Olympics coverage is underway, and at the same time, February is Black History Month, and we spoke to an inspiring San Diegan who has Olympic goals. 24-year-old Zion Clark was born with caudal regression syndrome, which impairs the development of the lower body. He's gone through life without legs. Clark was in the foster system where he says he was physically abused, underfed, and bullied in school. But his situation started changing when a teacher introduced him to wrestling. He was recruited to wrestle in college and went on to become the Guinness World Record holder for the fastest 20-meter walk on two hands. Now, Clark has a new dream, to become the first American to qualify for both the Olympics and the Paralympics in two separate sports, wrestling and wheelchair racing. Because I'm already at the level when I'm running with the best professionals in the world, but that's not enough. Running with them is cool, but beating them is a whole different story. Clark's story is featured in a Netflix documentary. His advice, live by his motto, no excuses. NBC7 is your official Olympic station, and all the excitement in Beijing is kicking off. Our very own Stephen Luke is there bringing us live reports from the venues from Olympic Village. You can keep up with Olympic headlines with our NBC7 Olympics newsletter as well. Each day, there are five stories about top competitions, where and when to watch them, viral moments, and updates on Team USA. You can sign up for that newsletter at NBC7.com. You'll find it in the trending bar at the top of the homepage. Well, some people might have considered yesterday a lucky day because it was a palindrome date, 2-2-22. A couple in Carlsbad got more luck out of the day than most, though. Natalie Hernandez and her husband, Angel, welcomed baby boy Ramon at exactly 2-22 p.m. Happened yesterday at Kaiser Permanente Hospital, the couple's first child, but it is the 22nd grandchild for Natalie's grandmother, Josephine. Before we sign off, here's a look at your current temperatures. Dagmar has an extended forecast in the weather section on the main menu of our streaming app on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. That'll do it for our nightly check-in. Have a good night.